So what everybody, this is your boy Shaver Speaks. Before I get anything started, I know I did not do last week's episode of uh, Batwoman, so I'm going to do a quick little bit of recap of that really quick. Um, first thing first, Sophia, Sophie, and Kane, so, I'm sorry, Sophie and Kate are no longer going to be an item because even Sophie said out of her own damn mouth to Kate that when they're having their own heart to heart, which was, well, I always say like their second half of a heart to heart because the first half was interrupted by rabbits that, were, that, were, that attacked, you know, Mary and Kate and you know, the whole, the whole nine, right? So, so Sophie tells Kate, look, you need to move on. I've moved on. I have a husband now whom Kate is actually torturing for information on Alice, a.k.a. Beth, after <clears throat> she escaped once again. Because, you know, Kate was very close to bringing her sister in. She cracked the hard shell that she put up, you know. They met up at an old childhood spot that they used to hang out at, and they had to, they're they having a hard to heart. But her sister Mary, not forgiving, you know, Alice or, or Beth for what she did to her. I mean, who can blame her? I mean, she kidnapped her and, and hurt her and stuff. So who can blame her for not forgiving her for that? But <clears throat> Mary actually snitches and tells Jacob, hey, Dad, I know where, you know, Kate and Alice are going to meet up to talk. You know, so while Kate and Beth are talking, all the Crow agents come in, you know, because they've been ordered by Jacob, who believes that Alice is doing all this just to spite her, just to spite him and so on, to shoot her on sight. You know, because and we learned that Beth really just has a bone to pick with Jacob because she said, as she told Kate, Jacob always was always gave up when the times got tough, end quote. And which makes me believe to believe that during <clears throat> when Kate, I'm sorry, during, during when Beth and her mother, you know, had that had that car accident and her mother died and their mother died, they were seemingly on a, you know, they were separating you know, or going through a divorce or whatnot. And. You know, maybe Beth just felt like, you know, her father should have tried better. You know, so as they're having this heart to heart, um, the, I guess where they're standing, you know, gives through and they fall into some water. Very reminiscent to Beth because that has to be very traumatic because that's how she almost died the last time. So Luke Fox, you know, was able to, you know, bring, you know, knock some consciousness, knock some consciousness back into Katie because, you know, she got unconscious while she fell, when she fell into the water. She tries to, you know, she's trying to save her and Beth, you know, but like I said, she goes unconscious and, you know, Beth escapes. And that would piss me off because I'm, if I'm doing all this really to get help for my sister, you know, and whom, whom also knows that, you know, Kate is Batwoman now, you know, she was able to figure that out really quickly. And it makes me think like, wait, wait a second. If Beth didn't hire those rabbits to attack Kate, Mary, and so on, and Sophie, then who did, you know, and because that's what Beth told Kate also, that she didn't do it. She didn't hire those rabbits to attack them. Turns out to be Catherine, uh, who happens to be Mary's mother, I believe. And she's been trying to pretty much just erase Beth, Beth's accident and her mother's murder and so on from the past and the damn future. She's been trying to erase Beth all along. But I don't think I can seem to figure out is why. They can answer that. I'm pretty sure they'll be answering that in the first, in the next couple, in the next few episodes if they can. But in tonight's episode of Down, 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 you know, for the most part, we see, we finally see Katie don her very own signature Batwoman suit, finally. After an old villain, Tommy Elliott, claims that he can kill the Batman with his weapon, you know, and, you know, because as, you know, the citizens of Gotham put it, they're horny for Batman. Because, you know, they still think that, you know, all this stuff is horrible, except it's happening around Gotham. Oh, shit, Batman must be back. Nope, it's just Batwoman. So... She has Luke Fox, who's still against, you know, her doing her thing. So, so she has him make her signature bat suit. He makes some alterations to the Batman suit. Bam, bam. She has her own bat suit with the red wig attached to the cow, which is really dope, along with the iconic red sin chest plate right in the middle. That is so damn dope, right? And so, and so Tommy Elliott says, look, I'm going to... You know, have these people plummet to their deaths in this elevator if I don't get a message or a response from the Batman. Because he already cut three cables already, right, on the elevator. So he says, look, if I don't get a response from from Batman, I'm going to cut the next three cables and you're going to watch these people plummet to their deaths. Of course, that doesn't happen. Kate is able to stop him. You know, she says, look, if Batman's not able to show up, then I will. You know, and it brings me right back to say when Luke, said, when Luke Fox was actually trying to get in touch with Bruce back when... You know, the, the weapons you know, the weapons arsenal was infiltrated fifteen years ago or some time ago. Bruce didn't pick up. So Kate's just like, look, man, you have no other choice. Get soup ready, I'm going out there. I'm kicking some ass. She does does that, she saves the people, 
And it makes me wonder, okay, now that she's done that, are we going to get more deeper in as to why Catherine may want, you know, Beth to be erased from both the past and the present? I hope you can figure that out. And I'll be getting to my Supergirl episodes, too. I've been binge-watching that this season so far. It looks really promising. I'm sorry. I, I know I've been missing the episodes and stuff, stuff like that, you guys. I apologize. But I definitely will be getting to that on Monday. That's what I'll be doing from now on. If I don't get to the Batwoman or Supergirl or whatever, vice versa, on tonight, I'll definitely be doing it on the next day on Monday. And this has been your boy, Chase Peace. I love you guys. Peace and love. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You guys know the deal. One love.